Stay till the end for the bloopers. Welcome back, everyone. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. I'm going to be talking about beautiful ITL manual, how to use a big in-depth dive on this manual. A lot of you guys may have never used an ITL machine. Want to see how a manual works for this ITL? It's vital. How to use this manual? So important. It's vital. You must use this manual. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Just because I've used the ITL machine for years and years. Pay close attention to how this manual works. I think you're going to love this show. Thanks for subscribing, you guys. Tell your friends, hit that like button before the show begins even. Thanks again. Let's get into this video. I'm in the office today, guys, because it's so hot out in the shop. And I'm going to show you how to use this manual. You're going to love it. Got to use the operator's manual with an ITL machine. So please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, and I'll have lots of stuff about door and lock stuff, especially in-depth views you may have never seen. When you first get your key cutting machine, your ITL, which is the name of the company, ITL 9700A, that's this model right here. So the head right here on the front of this key cutting machine, it articulates so it turns so that you can cut Medeco keys. Very important. This is one of the best key machines for cutting Medeco. You, know, you want to start reading it. First page, which tells you all the stuff inside the manual. And then when you finally get through it, you're going to be able to locate for like a Harley Davidson and you can cut the key for a Harley. And you know, we all love Harleys. Let's get right into this manual. First off, yeah. we have a table of contents. This is all the stuff that's in the manual. And the first page, very important. Anything you want to highlight tells you how to cut a key. You know, beautiful ITL and you're sitting there and you're looking at it, you just put it together right. out of the box and you go, how do I use it? Well, it's on the, the first page, really. My manual, page four, it tells exactly how to use this key cutting machine. This is kind of interesting. It says uh, insert two, and then it says flat one. Flat one is the width of each cut. So now we understand. Everybody's got their own nomenclature for how to use their key machines. There's no different with this ITL. So I'm going to show you a trick. So I'm going to show you a trick of just how to use this manual. Simplify it so easy. Must guys. read the first 12 pages of the manual. It's just so important. Read these pages. If you don't get it the first time through, sit around, watch TV, and on the commercials, read the beginning of this ITL manual. I rebuilt this manual. I took it down to Office Depot. I made a front and back hardcover. I laminated it front and back and I used heavy paper and I had them put it in a binder. Do all this work from Office Depot, it only costs about 40 bucks and ITL wanted over a hundred dollars for their manual and it was the cheap paper. You guys gotta do that. They want big bucks from ITL to do what I just I'm did here for about 40 bucks. This is a well used manual. I've got three manuals, one in the truck, one out in the shop and one in my hands right here in the office. Here's a trick I found. Go on Amazon and order, this is for jewelry. This is a jewelry pouch. I just love it. I'll put a link in the description. Earrings and this stuff and uh, they have little pouches. Well, I've set all my keys that I commonly use for locksmithing in this jewelry pouch. So I have one and I have two. And then what I've done, because how are you ever gonna know page to turn to when you have a, a special key, let's say just a Schlage key, what page do I turn to? I'm gonna show you how easy it is to, to understand how to do this. Out in my truck, I have several containers. Open them up and I put all my keys in these plastic containers that have lids on I them. I put these keys that I use commonly in my truck in those plastic containers. What I'm gonna to refer to on each key tag is gonna be which container it goes in, in my truck, I have them on shelves. A1 would stand for the container that I have out in my truck. A1. Common Schlage key. SC1. So my ITL book that cuts this key. Let's, let's just take it out. See how nice little pouch this is. 
So you're going to have to do some work. When you get your IT out, you're going to have to get all your keys, find out exactly what page really references this key. In your ITL book, my, mine's an old ITL book, your page number may not match mine. Hey guys, the reason you're doing all this work is because you got to set your key machine up with the spacers and everything according to your manual. Let's get back to the show. But let's just look at the key tag. So I have a SC1 key. I've deciphered that that key is an SC1. You can see it right on the key stamped. And my ITL page would be 54 and bin A1. Look at page 54. Well, sure enough, there it is. Page 54, SC4 works in this spot. You have to add to their manual. They don't really tell every key blank that works with their key machine, which is kind of sad. Really, kind of sad, really, if you think about it. So I kind of put these things on. I don't want to wreck my book, but I stick them there. I use these keys a lot. And then this is the space from the shoulder of the key, which would be this stop right here, the shoulder. This is the shoulder of the key right here. So the SC1, if you take a pair of veneer calipers, you start at the shoulder to the very first cut and the shoulder over to the center of the cut. That's from the shoulder to the center of the first cut. 231 thousandths. This is in thousandths, so it's in inch form, not metric. If you have a key already cut by somebody and you want to double check, make sure you have the right spot in your manual, you just measure from the shoulder over to the center of the cut. 231 thousandths. Here's all the depths. Machines are all set up perfect from the fact you're going to use different depth inserts. The machine stays right in calibration. Here's your depths of this SC1. So that's how I know where to look in the book, right here in this book, page 54. It's a Schleg SC1 key and it's in bin A1. So guys, I'm out at the truck and I've got the bins. I just want to show you where I put them. Let's take a look. In my truck, everybody's going to have their own system. But I have a killer system. Maybe you'll adopt it. Who knows? Let's take a look. Here's a little closer look. So all my bins for everything that I do, I have all on special built-in shelves. I have them on both sides of my truck. They're right over the axle of the truck because they're quite heavy. So here's my key bins. And I only have little piles of keys cut in the field. This is a B. And this is the A. Remember on that key blank, that was an A1. Yes. SC1, which I wrote on the front just for quick reference, is gonna be in this bin. So let's get it out of here. I just got it out of the shelf, which is just friction fit in there. I just put it in that shelf up there. This is a Milwaukee. You can use any kind of a bin. I think these are pretty strong. It was A1. I have them all marked. So A1 would be this batch right here, I believe. And then on each key blank, I write the bag of it and the page number for my ITL, because that's what we're trying to figure out. So it's not this bag. Here it is, right here. So I quickly located them. I don't have them hanging and rattling in the truck in a bin. Here's the key blank plastic bag everything in these bins. I can take these out by the way too if I want. But this makes it so easy for the ITL because you can locate the key. Have an ITL machine, you have to locate the key and I use bins. And I have them in my beautiful key truck all shelved in all my lock and door hardware parts and pieces. I don't have anything in drawers because I need to put these on my cart and take them in a hospital. Everything's mobile. And so that is bin A1. I hope this is helpful, guys. It's been helpful to me. Then if I just want to cut on the fly, which I hardly ever do, I do institutional work, but if I want to do it on the fly, somebody walks up to me. I have a key cutting machine right in the truck, not my ITL. ITLs cannot take vibration. ITLs cannot take vibration. I used to have my ITL 
right there, but boy, that was not a good idea. I called Burge over at ITL and he said, get that thing out of your truck. That is supposed to be shot model. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, hit that like button. Let's get back to the show. So I have this nice key line, beautiful unit, just for cutting keys in the field. And I just turn it on, I have a battery backup system, turn it on, it takes about eight minutes. And then I cut all the keys in the field. This is a Ninja by Keyline. Super rock solid. You get it updated and you really have a great machine. I only paid dirt cheap for this because I buy all my key machines, either used, refurbished, or something like that. Except, I must say, I buy the ITL brand new. <laughs> Because you're going to have some problems some problems when you buy refurbished. But they're well worth spending way, I mean, a penny on a dollar compared to, I think this was $8,000. And I uh, don't want to spend that kind of money on just a, a machine to cut SC1 keys. Come on, guys. You don't want to spend big bucks. Everything in my truck is all shelved. And I just put it right in my cart when I go to work. Got a nice little rolling cart by Rubbermaid. I don't think they make that anymore. Have a door setting tool and there's a job getting ready to be installed. Best cylinders and all that stuff. So I just yank this thing out of the truck, roll it out of the truck. If I want to, I can put any kind of bin I have because they're all in a portable little containers. All my containers are portable. And I love it that way because I can put it on that cart. Let's get back to the manual. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. The ITL manual. The ITL manual. So it's nice to go out the truck, see how you do this, how you put keys related to the ITL in bins. It doesn't help me much with the uh, Ninja, right? Keyline Ninja. But the Keyline Ninja doesn't use a book like this. It has a computer inside of it. So if you're really not a reader, or look up things in a book. I don't suggest you buy an ITL. I bought this ITL for a specific reason to cut medical keys. Here's some more ideas here. Let's go to another key. Let's go to something really weird. All right, you're gonna cut some cabinet keys. Cabinet key world. This is pretty much standard for the cabinet key world. Let's find out what kind of key it is. All I do is I whip my book open when I hold their key up to a specific key that looks about the same. Oh, I have quick reference just by having it in a book. I don't want to lose my place here. Let's open this up. Sure enough, here we are. Not branded on that side. It says an NA14. My ITL book. It's, it's a Compex key. So I've already researched this key. Compex key, if they have a cam, Compex lock, it's a cam lock, it'll be in my bin A8. It'll be on page 45. Let's look. Page 45. On 55. Get to page 45. See why well, you got to have a good stout book. You want good hard paper. ITL machine comes with a really cheap paper book. I just took it down and copied it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look for what page forty five. Page forty five. Aha! It's under national. Their idea of what key it's going to be a national key. Page forty five. I highlighted it. Call it a cam lock. You got to do this. Stuff. You're going to cut multiple different companies' keys. Let's say you're an institutional locksmith and you only have like seven keys. Just find their keys in the book. Page 45. Write that down on a key tag and quick reference, guys, where your keys at and bin A8. And so from the shoulder, from this shoulder, right there, get something to touch it. The shoulder of the key, right there. To the side of the book is space from the shoulder. From the shoulder to the center of the first cut, that's that measurement. The first cut is going to measure out 156 thousandths. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. So six spaces on this key. There's longer key blanks <laughs> related. So you just hold their key up and see which one kind of matches your key. And then on the depths, 
There's only four depths. You look up, let's say it's 250 thousandths. Go all the way up to the top, so that would be depth one. So it doesn't have a zero depth. So there's your depths. This side of the book is depths. This side of the book is space from the shoulder. So I mark every place that I have a key, that I own a key, I mark it in my book and put these tags. This has got to be helpful to you guys. I tried to think of ways to do this, make it easy to figure out this book. And you gotta spend about a week, if you have 100 keys, mark your book and you will be happy for it. Please subscribe to my channel and tell your friends. I'm gonna have lots and lots of tips like this. This ITL manual, really important. You're, if you have an ITL machine, you must highlight your manual. Get familiar with it. It's real simple. Honestly, the learning curve is about a week. Subscribe and tell your friends. You could actually put this sleeve, this compact sleeve, anywhere in your book. You will not get lost because when you're holding up one of their keys, their key blanks, a complex key blank, you just flip some pages in your book. I, I, this is a jewelry case. I should call it a jewelry case. Flip until you find the key blank that looks like theirs. And then the reference tag will tell you where to cut from your ITL machine book. Okay, I finally found the empty slot. I only put one key blank per slot because I want to be able to flip the flip the page and look and see what the key blank, if it matches the one I'm going to try to cut. You can't get lost. I, I didn't put this away right away, so we're going to slide it in. It's, these all come with the, the, this, this nice jewelry case. You get these little pouches. I put it right in there and I, you know, you're going to use the SC1 first, so I kind of put it in the front of the, of the pouch. Let's find it. The empty is up here. The, they have plastic little opening up here. I just stick it right in like that. There we are. And then I can zip this up, put it in my truck, put it on the front seat, wherever. Somebody come up, hey, can you cut a key for me? I go, yeah, what, what's it look like? Let me see the key. And then I just go through my book. And you must do this for the ITO. Guys, you have to make these tags. You've got to do some footwork. You have to know where the key is in your book. I have a lot of reference books. I have some key blank directory from Ilco. I cross-reference the key, make sure I've got the right spot in the book, already highlighted. So here's another key, the SC1, we've already been there. Uh, let's see, the, the Schlage uh, 3, so this is a Primus key, Everest. There we are, one, two, three. I know what to cut it at. I know the spaces from the shoulder. I know the depths. This book's beautiful. It's even great for just referencing a key if it's even cut to code. Because the ITL, this ITL is a code cutting machine. Monster, the best in the world. I love this ITL. The company's so. called Interlock. They're out in California and in Canada. Please buy this machine if you want. If you want the best, this is the machine. And I hopefully I helped you on how to use your manual. You've got to make these up to use your manual properly. You're going to have to set for about a week. You can do it on a weekend if you want. Build your inventory in jewelry case. I love these. These are very cheap. I'll put a link in the description. So there you have it, guys. That's how to use your ITL machine. Read the first 12 pages. You'll understand exactly how to calibrate the machine. Great machine, honestly, ITL 9700A. And you know why you want to buy this one? Because all the other ones almost cost the same, and this is their top of the brand. I mean, this is their best, 9700A. Got every key in the world with this one. There you have it, guys. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, and I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. Thanks again. I guess I can't finish this show without showing you the machine I'm talking about. There's the ITL, great machine. This is all carbide, man. You just can't believe how great this machine is. The head articulates. I buy like a bin and just cut it out, stuck it underneath there for chips. You have to wear safety glasses. This machine 
is rock solid. No software. This is all embedded software. Great machine. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and I'll have more door and lock tips like this wonderful ITL coming to you in the future. Thanks again. It's blooper time. Hey, close attention and it <clears throat> So please play that. So P so please so please so please play play close attention. So please pay close attention. So please play so please so, so please <coughs> add to their catalog their their manual <coughs> uh, you're going to use different <coughs> you're going to use different depth So guys, I'm out at the truck. <laughs>